lost their job in the first place, don't they? Or I go to the police. And you go away for a very, very long time. Who are you, people? Oh no, there's a reason. Ah. I don't want to hear it. Sorry, what the uh, biscuits and magazines won't make up for the fact that my children have lied to me. I thought that drinks promotion was starting soon. It's all under control. Good. Justin, I've got a meeting in Brighton today, so I'm not going to be around. OK, boss? And I'm going to stay overnight, so I'll see you tomorrow. You've got my number if you need me, right? Why would I need you? I'm just trying to be nice. <sighs> Go. Have a nice time. Right. Well, you look after yourself. And you look after her. I don't need looking after. So, you and your little blonde friend have got the flat all to yourselves for the whole night? Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Disaster? Why don't you just hand it to us on a plate? How are we going to resist? Mm. All right. How's it going? Good. Yeah, I'm uh, meeting Spike later. How's Sarah? Coping, you know. Mm. It's not exactly a house of fun at the moment. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Should we, um... Uh, where are you going? My room. Why don't you stay down here, watch a bit of TV? We could even talk to each other. Come with Craig. Uh, yeah, all right. Get to know each other. There's nothing to know. Is that what Jackie thought? Or Carmel? When she jumped in bed with her sister's husband? Mum, will you shut up? I'm trying to read over here. Bet you talk to your mum, don't you, Craig? <laughs> I like my lot. Sneaking around, whispering the little secrets. Blocking you out of the lives. It's horrible. Makes you feel like a stranger in your own home. So, uh, uh, what are you up to with Spike tonight? Spike? Who's that? He's, um... My, we kind of... It's his fella, Mum. So that's his name. I expect Jackie to be cagey. Carmel, I didn't know she had it in her. But you, I thought it'd be different. Mum, there'll be plenty more spikes. But I want to meet this one. Ask him to come over before you go out. Oh, I, I don't know if he... You can stop for your tea. I don't want some little boys bunging up our house. It's my only night off. I want to plan my music for men, do. Oh, we're not going to stay for tea. Of course you are. Mercedes will even put a smile on her face for him and all. What's up now? And it's... Look, if you keep going around with a face like that, people are going to start to wonder why. What's the matter? Mike knows. No way. It's there when he came home from the hospital. What's he going to do? Has he gone to the police? He was acting like a complete psycho, Reese. Oh. One minute he was smiling and all meek in front of Amy and as soon as she walked out the room he... he just flipped. Josh, has he gone to the police? No. And is he going to? No. Right. So everything's okay then, yeah? He offered me a deal. What kind of a deal? He said that as long as I keep away from Amy he wouldn't press charges. And that's it. What do you mean, is that it? I love her, Reese. She's my whole world. Josh has been amazing through all this. I mean, really amazing. Oh, you really like him, don't you? Sarah? Yeah? How do you know when you've, like, found the one? You're asking me. He's always so nice to me, even when I'm being a complete cow. Oh, that's special, isn't it? doesn't know the real me. Yeah, well, it, if you look at it, like... Do you think I should tell him about Leah and everything? Well, hey, me. I really love him, Sarah, and I don't want to lose him. Dump her and run. I can't do that, Reese. You have to! It's easy for you to say you've never loved anyone. I don't care, but this is a no-brainer. There is no woman anywhere on this earth worth serving time for. You can't expect to drop a bombshell on him like that and for him to just go... It's OK. 
okay, baby, whatever, you know, he's, he's going to be devastated. He'll run a mile. Yeah, possibly, but I mean, if you want things to go further between you, then you've got to tell him the truth. She's not like other girls. It's, it's like we have this connection. Yeah, but if Mike goes to the police, you'll never see her again anyway, because you'll be banged up. Do, do you really think Amy's going to want to come and visit you in prison? Yeah, she might. If I tell him I've had a baby, he's gonna think I'm a slut. Yeah, but think about how good you're gonna feel when you've told him. And I've lost him, yeah, great. Ames, if he loves you, then he'll come back to you. Yeah. You sure? Even if she forgives you, do you really think she's gonna wanna be with you when you can't get a job because you've got a criminal record? You've got no money, no future. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's worth taking the risk. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. What I am sure about is that lying makes things a heck of a lot worse in the long run. I don't know. Will you help me? Yeah, of course I will. I wasn't there for you, you know, when you were pregnant. Yeah. The least I can do is be there for you now, eh? Look, dump her and consider yourself lucky you're a free man. There is no way you can tell her what happened. Go to him, tell him that nobody knew about the pregnancy, not even me, and that you're sorry. Yeah? And if it's real between you two, you'll get through it. So we thought, if you're going to tell him? Yeah. Oh, Amy, I'm so proud of you. Oh. Oh, Amy, I'm so proud You okay? How come you wanted to meet you? <laughs> Hello. Pleased to meet you. You must be spelt. Spike. She thought it'd be a good idea if we have something to eat before we, we go out. Oh, I see. It's sausage casserole. My speciality. That's great. I'm starving. Um, this is our Mercedes. You've probably met her at the pub. Yeah, it's good to meet you properly, though. Hmm. Does it take years of practice to get this good at sucking up? Or does it come naturally? Oh, ignore it. <laughs> Did John Paul tell you our neighbour's best friend's cousin plays for your team? So as a family, we're quite used to homosexuals. There's lipstick. There's no lipstick. What's that then? <laughs> Get off! Hey, it's quiet in here. Why don't you two knock off early? Are you sure? Us. I can manage. Cheers. We could go back to the flat. No. Why not? There's free booze downstairs. Why go home? I guess the night's still young. 